Jesus gives us three directives in the gospel. Deny yourself, take up your cross, and follow me. But what does it mean to deny oneself? Does it simply mean to, to give up a few of the things that we might enjoy as a form of sacrifice, as we sometimes do during the season of Lent? Well, in some ways, yes, but is Jesus asking us to go deeper? To deny oneself is to allow oneself to be emptied of anything that is not of God. To let go of anything that is keeping us at a distance from God. To let go of any type of a false self and allow ourselves to be transformed in him. That the truth that comes from him alone might dwell within us. For only then can we bring his truth and his light and his love into this world. And what does it mean to take up your cross? Does it mean that Jesus is asking us to, to suffer in this life? Does it simply mean that we are to accept the crosses that inevitably come to all of us in this life? To take up your cross means that we are asked by Christ not simply to bear the crosses of this life, but rather to bring our crosses to his cross and to unite our sufferings to his sufferings, which means we are asking God to allow our sufferings in this life to be redemptive, redemptive as are the sufferings of Christ, redemptive. Jesus went to the cross for the sake of our redemption. And when we unite our crosses to his, you and I are joined with Christ in the work of redemption. Our suffering then has ultimate meaning for the sake of the redemption of the world. And united with his sufferings, we find our own inner healing, for his cross always leads to resurrection. In all of this, then, we are following him, following him as faithful, humble, and loving disciples. And we find that to lose ourselves in him is to gain everything in this life and in the next. God bless you all.